So hi everyone, my name is Trini Li. I am the director of Taiwan Study Program at School of Politics and International Relations, University of Nottingham. Um, as most of you are aware of that uh, Taiwan has been experienced the latest uh, presidential election on January the 11th, a beautiful Saturday. And uh, Taiwan has once again uh, proved the democracy in the society, in a country that has um, win over of most of the people's worry of the previous uh, populist figure that Han Guoyu was defeated dramatically uh, in front of uh, the current president Tsai Ing-wen. DPP president, DPP party's uh, presentation candidate uh, Dr. Tsai Ing-wen has won uh, vigorously over Han Guoyu, the Kaohsiung mayor currently. So what I would like to uh, talk a little bit today about the election was what my observation before, during, and after the Taiwan presidential election. Uh, before the presidential election, actually, there were a lot of the uh, voices about uh, two factors. One was about the um, public poll. Uh, Han Guoyu, uh, KMT's candidate, Kaohsiung Mayor Han, his supporters were informed by the Han's uh, presidential uh, election office saying that the people should lie not to show their indications of supporting of Han. So before the election, the public poll's result of Han and Tsai's supporting rates was quite dramatically different. Han was only probably 15 to 20 percent and Tsai was more than 50 percent. And uh, people were wary about Han's action. And in fact, uh, the result proved that although Han wasn't losing that much to Tsai, but it was quite dramatic difference of Han's uh, supporter and Tsai's supporter as Tsai won overwhelmingly to Han. So to what extent that uh, um, pulling over or asking the supporter not to answer the uh, investigate the public poll would be useful strategy to Hans team that is one query here another query is before election the rally of Han was very um can we say that uh, dynamic and many many people went the rally for Thai the day before election actually was comparatively much quieter. The number estimated at the Thai's rally probably much less than Han's rally. And the election result revealed that Thai, in fact, won much more than Han. Why was that? Actually, uh, we would say that it was most because of the uh, Hong Kong protest the impact of the Taiwanese young people that they would not want Taiwan to have the similar result as Hong Kong people they are facing now. So the motivation and the fear of Taiwan's future would be like Hong Kong motivates a lot of the young people to vote for the DPP because they don't want Taiwan would result as Hong Kong. So in that sense, we would say that uh, this election, before and during election, uh, we see quite of the different uh, speculations of Han and Tsai, but the results still prove that Tsai overwhelmingly won over Han. Now, after the election, what can we see to proceed of Taiwan in post-election era? Well. Uh, we would say and we would suggest that uh, this disregard of the DPP and KMT's difference, Taiwan really need to work together and to pull over uh, these different opinions within the society and then work together to uh, face Taiwan's future in terms of economy and of course in terms of the immediate threat from China. For more of the uh, different views and perspectives, of course, uh, the Taiwan Insight here is our online blog, online magazine, 
uh, we've started the special issue of the presentation election of Taiwan 2020 since uh, January all the way since the beginning of the January all the way until the end of January. So for readers, audience, you are more interested in different views of Taiwan presentation election, please do come to our Taiwan Insights uh, blog website and you will be able to see more of the different perspectives.